What if I jump? Will it all stop? I want all of it to stop. I'm so tired of it all. I'm tired of the restless nights due to non-stop thoughts. This has taken the joy out of everything. Even eating feels like a chore. So I don't eat anymore. I hate my body. It has become a reminder of the hell I'm living. So I hide it every single day. Even when there is a lot of people around, I feel alone. My only companions seem to be panic and anxiety. They go everywhere I go. Why is this happening to me? It's not fair. Everyone else seems so happy. Maybe it's my fault because even though I feel like I'm dying inside, I lie to everyone and I tell them, I'm okay. I'm fine. I have pushed away all my friends. Hang on. So I'm next time. Thank you for inviting me. Miss you. Miss you guys too. I miss them so much, but I don't know how to explain what I'm going through. Call up again. This is like the second time already. I call up work almost every day due to my anxiety. When I look in the mirror, I don't even recognize myself anymore. Time goes by so slow. Hours feel like days and days feel like months. I'm so tired of it all. A part of me still has hope. I cannot give up now. I have to keep fighting. Wow, that was just... Wait a damn minute. <laughs> this boo! Are you crying? Hey, don't worry. I've got you. Let me see. Oh, there's still a little bit more. It's okay. It's okay if you cry. We all cry. Don't act like you don't feel it. Just just let it be. Let me see. <laughs> all right, now that you can see better, let's get straight into the second half of this video. During the first half of the video, I really wanted to give you a first person point of view of what it was like for me when I was dealing through living with anxiety and depression. During the second half of the video, I'm going to be telling you exactly what I did to overcome both and become the happy and thriving human being I am today. So if you're currently dealing with depression or anxiety, stay. You won't regret it. And even if you're not, stay because the tips you learned today might help a loved one that is going through it. So come on, let's go. Tip number one is to keep busy. And this is a very hard one. Why? Because there is days where your motivation is going to be zero to none. Where you're just going to want to be laying down and not doing anything all day because that's what feels good. But let me tell you, you're not going to have any kind of progress if you keep falling in that hole. You're going to have to get up and get busy to keep your mind distracted, to do something with your day and to be productive. A great way to do this is by picking up a hobby. For example, I started doing yoga and... I don't mean new flex, but check this out. <music> Tip number two is to get informed, be proactive, do your research because there's nothing scarier than the unknown. The unknown is scary, but once you start teaching yourself exactly what you're going through and what it is you're dealing with, it gives you the power to overcome it. So what I mean by this is that if you're going through depression, anxiety, or panic attacks, do your research, find out why this is happening, what happens in your body when this occurs. So let me tell you a story. Before I used to have panic attacks in the beginning of my struggle, I would always freak out. I didn't understand what was going on with my body. So I thought it was going to last forever. I thought I was going to faint. It was just nasty. It, it was a bad time. It was a sad, sad, bad time. But anyways, after I did my research, I saw a huge difference in me. Sometimes I completely would avoid panic attacks by just reminding myself that I am okay, that it is just a chemical imbalance going on in my brain and that this will pass, that it's not going to last forever. Tip number three, practice deep breathing. We're going to do a little bit of it right now. We're going to breathe in for four seconds. Hold it and breathe out. We're only going to do it one time, but I would recommend you do it at least four times. Four, 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 keeping it easy for you. So here we go. Don't you dare fast forward. Okay? I see you. I see everything. All right, here we go. Ready? 
four in. You see, that's all. Charlie Holmes. Feels so good right now. Everything is beautiful. Deep breathing is very important, and let me tell you the science behind it. So when you take deep breaths, your heart rate automatically sinks to the rhythm, to the rate of your breath. So if you're having anxiety or a panic attack and you start deep breathing, that will be a natural calming technique that you can use anywhere and everywhere. So tip number four is to let it out. Do not bottle it in. You are not a genie in a bottle, baby. You need to let it out. Because if you keep letting it bottle up, it's just gonna be bad for your mental health. It's okay to cry, it's okay to feel angry, it's okay to feel like it's unfair, and it's okay to do the ugly cry. Do you guys know what the ugly cry is? No, let me show you. <laughs> the last tip, and in my opinion, the most important tip I could give you is to talk about it. Do not let this be an internal struggle that no one knows about. Tell your friends, tell your family. Don't let them go every day thinking that you're fine when you truly aren't. Because once you start opening up about your struggle, you're gonna create a support system. There is someone out there that cares about you, that's gonna be there for you. So definitely talk to someone. Not only will you create a support system, someone might tell you that they're going through the same thing as well because you just opened that door, that conversation about depression, anxiety, and panic attacks. And it's gonna be great to be able to talk to this person because you're gonna realize that you're not alone, you're not crazy, and that someone truly understands you. I cannot stress this enough. Tell someone, talk about it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you were able to take something away from it. Also, if you have any more tips that may help someone in need, please, don't hesitate to leave those tips in the comment section. Also, make sure to push the like button and to subscribe to my channel if this video and my other videos haven't convinced you yet to join my channel, maybe my dancing will.